Hey Anton here from GT Canada and before you click on to another video or switch the channel I know you're wondering what the heck is he doing that old rinkety boat and what the heck could he be talking about that I even care about well today I have a very very special boat that I want to show you but first I'm going to tell you a little story about this so we've got a place out on a lake and I've been driving around in my old rinky boat and if you've seen some other videos I've done the best I can to get a good surf wave out of this boat and my sister was out here and and she was saying to me you know we should really be looking at pontoon boats that's where we can hang out and just chill and I said yeah but pontoon boats are so useless if I can't surf behind a boat it has no value to me and we left it at that well earlier this week my sister sent me a video and she says have you seen this and I opened up the video and to my surprise I saw a pontoon boat that somebody was surfing behind now if you've clicked on the link to this video you already know that I'm talking about the Montera Surf Boss pontoon boat now I'm not going to just stop the video right there because I actually have a good news story that came out of this so I started researching where can I get one of these what's the dealers what's the cost blah 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 because I'm actually quite interested in one of these boats they look very very intriguing are they making a a tournament worthy wave no they're not are they making a wave at least as good as what I'm getting behind my Mastercraft TriStar it looks like it but the jury's still out for me at least but I want to show you what the boat looks like and and all of that so I actually came across a guy in my town that has one of these boats recently and I totally creeped him I went to his house it was parked outside of his house I I stopped rang the doorbell no answer banged on the door no answer rang the doorbell again still no answer he's got one of those ring doorbells so I know his phone's buzzing to say there's someone at the door but he was not answering the the, the, the buzzer so I left a note hey uh, I love your boat I want to know more about it uh, I want to talk about it if you get a chance give me a call or a text or whatever and I left it at that a couple hours later I get a text from the guy hey this is the boat guy let me know if you're free so I give him a call and we chat and I'm like you know I know this sounds really weird but I got this little YouTube channel and I'd love a chance to do a walkthrough of your boat and video it because there's not a lot out there so reluctantly he agreed and 15 minutes later I was back at his house his family came out and helped pull the cover off and I had a great conversation where I got to meet a, a boat owner all boat owners are cool anyway right I mean it's it's always chill and relaxed and whatever right so I talked to him about his boat and the journey that he had to buying this boat and then I was able to do a walkthrough I'm going to show you around this boat so this is a full surf aluminum hulled surf boat which has a proper V on it similar to what the older Centurions would have had it's got a funky little notch in the middle at the back which I can explain about later uh, but on top it's got a proper pontoon um, top deck on it so that means you've got a nice open front bow for seating you've got a nice open rear bow or rear stern area again for seating you've got walk on and walk off you've got a nice cockpit area uh, it's all touch screen so you can turn it on you can control everything from within those touch screens so you can do uh, all your speed set your your zero off speed control your stereo it's got an mp3 player it'll play bluetooth whatever uh, full surf system so it'll allow you to control your ballast uh, left and right and your your trim tabs now the ballast there's a little bit of confusion out there so some guys are saying 2500 pounds per side so 5,000 pounds in total some people are saying 22 to 2400 pounds period the boat that I looked at which was the Montera Surf Boss 23 that means it's a 23 foot boat it only had 1100 pound bags on each side now as you can see in the video here as you can see there's lots of room in that hull to get more ballast in there if you want you can keep it all below deck so you're not impeding anyone's seating uh, or storage or anything like that that's the beauty of this boat you've got so much hull space to store whatever you want in there so I believe you could put another bag 
in front of the existing one to get a full 5,000 pounds in that boat. I also believe to get a good surf wave, you will need 5,000 pounds in this boat. It's a very tall hull. It's got a lot of freeboard. So there's enough room to really sink the back in to make that perfect wave. The nice thing about this, it does have a proper surf system. So this is the aftermarket surf system that you can buy for any boat. The nice thing about going with this kind of a surf system is they don't have to go and invent their own surf system. They don't have to go and fight with patents against some of the big manufacturers or anything like that. This is a legit existing surf system. They just buy in bulk and install on the boat. It's a great surf system. It's similar to a Mastercraft surf system, which is a good, it's a very good system. So full electronic control, you can adjust up, down, whatever. The nice thing about this boat, it actually claims you can surf on both sides at the same time. Now that's because of that unique U shape in that hull that allows you to do that. I'm not sure if I like this. I've never in my experience thought, hey, I'd love to surf with someone on the other side at the same time as me. And all the videos that I've seen, it, um, it looks like the waves kind of crappy on both sides. It's not a great wave on either side, which means you're really not gonna be enjoying yourself that much. Maybe having a second person out there beside you adds the enjoyment so that the wave can suck and you can still have fun, but I'd rather have a great wave than have my best friend out on the wave right beside me when he can be 10 feet away from me in the boat anyway. So the other thing you'll notice is you look at the front of this hull. So it starts out kind of like a tri-hull design. So you've got the pontoon on the one side, the pontoon on the other side, but they're not true pontoons. This is more like a deep V hull with a little bit of outriggers added into the, the hull shape. But when you're actually up and running on plane, this boat very much runs on the same kind of a hull as what any kind of surf boat would. So they've, they've done really great job with the trickery here to make it feel like a pontoon while performing like an actual surf boat. So uh, the aluminum hull is great because it's durable. If any of you guys have been watching some of the other manufacturers, Pavati comes to mind. They claim to be the only all aluminum boat manufacturer and they claim a lifetime hull. So this should be no different. The aluminum does seem kind of thin uh, which obviously, I mean, it passed all the requirements for being a sea vessel. So, I mean, it's not unsafe, but it does seem quite flimsy, um, even for a hull. Like, I was surprised at how thin it feels. I'd be curious to know exactly how thick that hull really is, but, um, I mean, it's, it's thick enough, shouldn't have any concerns. The other thing that's great, as you can see here, the engine cover is actually the back end of the boat and you just push a hydraulic lift button and it lifts up and steps. So there is a safety mechanism on there as you lift it, it'll lift only so far then stop and then you gotta let go of the button, push it again, it'll lift again and then stop. But eventually it lifts all the way up. And if you look inside this engine area, it is massive. You've got a full V-drive engine. Uh, standard is a six liter uh, PCM engine, which is based off of the Chevy, which is a very common block, common engine. You shouldn't have any issues with warranty or, or repair work. You're taking a tried and tested engine configuration. So it's nothing new and you know it's gonna be reliable. It's a proper V-drive. So you can surf just like you can on any other V-Drive, but look at how much space there is here to work on it. Oil changes, servicing, fluid checks, uh, everything's available here. All your electronics are out where you can easily get to them. If you wanna add more to this stereo system, you can. You shouldn't need to. It's got a massive pounding Rockford Fosgate stereo system, which is sounds amazing. It's also got a proper a swim platform on the back so you've got it's kind of unique to this but because the boat sits so high you actually need that swim platform just to be able to get in and out there but it's got a great stowaway ladder built into the into the rear swim deck and it makes entrance and getting in and out very very easy you also have full access to all your ballast and you can see it's got dual Jabsco Ballast Puppy pumps, which are high flow. So the ballast supposedly fill and drain in about four and a half minutes. I have not tested this, but it seems about right based on the size of the pump and the size of the bags. Also, because 
you've got the dual pumps in there already. Adding more bags won't add a whole lot of extra time to your system. You could, if you wanted to, set one pump to fill one bag, one pump to fill the other bag on the same side, or you could have one bag fill first, and then the overflow go to the other bag to fill, and then that goes to the air breather. So it's very easy to plumb in more. It is plug and play ready. It's very simple to just add another uh, ballast kit and throw it on top of there. But 1,100 pounds is kind of getting to the big side, so it's easier to just add another 1,100 pound bag. The interesting thing about this one, the owner of this boat actually it has uh, mobility issues. So he is in a wheelchair and he really enjoyed surfing and enjoyed being with his family. And this boat allows them to do that. Because it's a pontoon style, they were able to modify it and add a little door on the side that drops right onto the dock. He can drive his wheelchair right in, but his kids can still enjoy surfing behind the boat and he gets to be part of the family. No other boat will let you do that. You just, with a proper V-Drive surf boat, you are not gonna get a wheelchair in there, not easily anyway. This one you just drive on, it's great, everyone can just hang out and chill. Someone wants to surf, you just hit a button on the dash. It has pre-programmed rider profiles. So once you get the ballast how you like, and you get the trim tabs how you like, and you get everything set up exactly how you want, the, the zero off set to the speed you like, all you gotta do is say, I'm riding. Hit the button, five minutes later it is set up and you just have someone drive you don't even have to get your friends to move they can all stay in the back in luxury and comfort while they watch you surf it's a beautiful beautiful concept and i think you're going to see a lot more about this in the future these boats are going to make a huge splash in the industry they are not for the professional wake surfer who needs top tier surf wave to be able to go out and compete in competitions and all of that that is not the market they are after but with the pontoon boat market as strong as it is, the fact that they've added the ability to surf behind it as well, they're gonna just take off in this market. If you haven't seen one yet, you will see one soon. And if you wanna buy one, uh, you'll have to reach out to the manufacturer. I am not sponsored to do this video. They are not paying me. Although Montera, if you're watching this video, I would love to get my hands on a boat to take out to my lake and add an actual on water review. But uh, there's been no money changing hands. This is just my experience with the boat and what I what I've seen so far And what I have seen so far is they have got a killer system a killer setup uh, One thing you're gonna ask about what about the tower? So some of the concepts had this really crazy big built-in tower uh, It turned out that was not cost-effective to mass-produce. So they've got I would say it's their downside. Like the tower looks like a real afterthought on these boats. If you even get one with it, the one that I'm reviewing right now actually didn't even have a tower. They've got the classic ski pole that goes right in the back. It's not a big deal for surfing because it's actually quite high up and to start with like your, that pole is a good uh, six feet off the water. So uh, getting up on a surfboard is not a problem when the, when the a rope is still that low. If you were wakeboarding, it would present a problem. If you've seen the wakeboard wake behind this boat, it is amazing. It looks absolutely stunning. And it makes me wish my knees didn't hurt so bad so I could actually get out and wakeboard again. But you can wakeboard, slalom, tube, do all of that behind this boat and still have all your friends hanging out just chilling. The quality seems very well, seems very good. The stitching is good, it's uh, lined well. The build quality seems good. This is not a cheap boat. Um, in Canada, you're looking at, you know, budget at least $150,000 for one of these boats. But when you price out a high-end pontoon boat or even a higher-end surf boat, it's way cheaper than a high-end surf boat. It comes in at about a mid-range surf boat range for brand new. Uh, and it comes into the high-end for a pontoon boat brand new. So the fact that this marries the two together really hits a sweet spot in that market. Uh, I don't think you're going to see any used ones on the market anytime soon. This is their first full year in business and they're still quite small. So their factory does not produce a lot of boats. And so it's going to be hard to get your hands on a boat. So if you're lucky enough to get your hands on one now, I would do it because once these videos start to drop with these kinds of reviews and more info gets out there and more people hear about it, these boats are gonna sell out quickly. And I imagine there will be a very long waiting list if you want to get your hands on one of these boats very, very soon. So, Montera, hit me up. I would love to do a water test, bring me to your factory. I'd love to, to do a walkthrough of your factory and the process. I'd love to see how all of that stuff happens. And, uh, 
for the rest of you, keep your eye out on this segment of the boat market because it is gonna take off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I got a lot of other great videos. GT Canada is a great lifestyle channel. We've got cars, boats, sea dues life hacks, everything that you need to just get enter be entertained over the winter and find out what you how to do stuff in the summertime as well. My lake's starting to get really busy on the water again now that dinner's over, so I'm gonna shut this video down, but make sure you like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos here if you've got time. Thanks, until next time, have a great day.